I'm recording this on the day of my 22nd birthday and I wanted to share 22 things that I've learned so far in life. Honestly, it might be more than 22 things because I wrote down a lot. Here we go. You are the sum of all your habits. What I mean by that is every little thing you do throughout your week, throughout your day, your months, determine the type of person you're gonna be. So if you wanna change an aspect of your life, Look at the habits that go directly to that aspect and either cultivate the new ones or figure out how you can eliminate the bad ones. You wanna become a better version of yourself? How would that person live? In order to embody the person you wanna become, you need to start doing the habits that that person would have. Nobody cares as much as you do. So do whatever you want. Sing in public, dance in public, laugh. Just be silly and enjoy yourself. Think about it. The last time you walked past somebody in public, how long did you think about them? Exactly. Nobody really cares as much as you think they do. There was not a perfect moment, so just start. There is not a perfect moment. There never is. You just need to do it. Just start. Because once you do, you're gonna realize, wow, there actually wasn't that perfect moment. Or you know what's funny? That candle that's been sitting in your drawer for the last three years because it's a really special candle and you're waiting to use it, use it now, use it. What is up with that scarcity mindset that we all had growing up where it was, I can't use these markers because these are my special markers. I only use them on a really special drawing. No, freaking use the markers. That's what they're there for. Use the stuff you have now, enjoy it because it's there for you. Dance to music because it feels good. Put on a good song and just dance. Dance with yourself. You don't need anybody else to dance with. Enjoy it, feel it, live in the moment with it and just be, let it flow through you and just dance because it does feel good. It feels good, let loose. You should never be afraid to express your love and gratitude. Always do it, it's beautiful. Be thankful for the things around you. What a superpower it is to be aware and to openly see things with love and appreciation. Everything is just gonna feel so much lighter and happier and contributing positively to your life because you're pointing out all these positives around you. Be grateful and love graciously. You are never alone. There is a big difference in feeling lonely versus being alone. You might feel lonely, but you're not alone. Just remember that. Our planet is full of people. You're not alone. Connect with others. Nothing is ever a waste. That experience that you had was not a waste. Maybe you studied so hard, so hard, so hard, and you didn't get a good grade on an exam. That wasn't a waste. You showed yourself that you had the discipline and dedication to sit down and put yourself fully into whatever it is you were learning about. While you might not have had the greatest outcome, that is still not a waste. It all happens for a reason, which is my next point. Everything happens for a reason. And this is something that I used to hate when people would tell me this. So I was like, why? This is so stupid. You're telling me that all this terrible negative stuff happened to me for a reason? And it did. A hundred percent. It built me into the person I am today. You know, I've gone through a lot of stuff. I would not be as empathetic and appreciative as I am today without having lost somebody important in my life. I don't take anything for granted. I know that things can swap in a heartbeat. Think about it like a video game. You're a character. That hardship that you went through got you bonus points got you strength, it got you wisdom, all that kind of stuff. And trust me, firsthand, I know that sometimes it just feels like utter BS. Yeah, that happened for a reason, to make me miserable and, <laughs> and jerky. You just have to trust. You just have to trust. Trust whatever it is, whatever soothes your soul. If it's the universe, if it's a god, something along those lines, whatever it is, you just need to trust. Life's got your back, despite what it might seem at times. This too shall pass. My mom would always tell me this when I was at my lowest of lowest points, where I am so upset that this went wrong, that went wrong, nothing is going my way, this too shall pass. However, I didn't expect her to tell it to me when I was at the highest of highs two summers ago. I had the best summer of my life. Everything was going my way. And my mom said, this too shall pass. And I started crying because it made me realize these are the highs and lows of life. And I had never understood that timeline that you see until that very moment because the highs will pass, the lows will pass, and everything in between. If it's the lows that you are in right now, it will pass. 
And if it's the highs that you're in, it'll pass. So be present, enjoy them, and soak them in. This too shall pass. Choose your hard. You have choices all the time. And each one of them are hard in their own ways. An example that I always make is waking up early is really hard. But sleeping in late is also hard for different reasons. Choose your hard. Every option is going to have its own type of hard. But you get to pick which hard you want to choose. There are so many different hards. Pick it. Choose yours and own it. For context, all of these lessons I am still learning actively. Like this one. Your body is always telling you something. Ugh. Always. We've got gut feelings. We have intuition. We've got the common cold symptoms, sickness, injuries, etc. Your body is always telling you something. You just need to listen. I'm training for a marathon, right? And on my first run, I tweaked my leg. I had the smallest little twinge in my leg and I still went for a run. And by the end of the run, my leg was screaming at me. My body had already told me, watch your step, take it easy, rest a little more, and then we can try running. And I chose to ignore it. And it bit me right in the butt, literally had me bedridden for two days. I couldn't walk. Your body is always telling you something. Listen to those gut feelings. Listen to those little twinges in your body. Work with it, not against it. Hard work always pays off. It always does because you know that you put your best foot forward. When you are always doing your best, nobody can take that away from you. It will pay off in so many different ways, whether it's paying off through a job or paying off through self-fulfillment. So keep working hard. What matters is showing up, showing up for yourself, showing up for other people. Work-life balance is really crucial, really crucial. I have been learning that a lot in the past couple of years because I throw myself into my work to the point where it burns me out because I don't know how to separate it at times. That time away from work is so important, so much more important than you think. You need to disconnect from it. Self-care isn't selfish. Taking care of yourself and prioritizing you is not selfish. It's not. If anything, it's going to make you show up so much better in your life. You're going to be able to have the energy to connect with others. You're going to show up to work with a smile on your face. In taking care of you, it's taking care of everything else around you. You can say no to people and it's honestly beautiful to be able to do that. If you're not interested in doing something, don't torture yourself by going through it. Don't. Self-care is not selfish. When you take care of you, it is going to fulfill you. Your energy is going to be all the way up here. Your vibration is going to be so much higher. So do it. And don't be ashamed of it. And if anybody else tries to tell you differently, don't listen to them because they don't love themselves. Rest and recovery is just as important as the work itself. All you want to do is be go, go, go. Output, input. Input, you kind of forget about. The output is all you want. I want to get there. I want to do this. I have to go for a run. I want to do that. But you need to rest and recover in order to have energy to have a good output. Whatever you set your mind to, you can achieve it. If you set your mind to it, truly, you can get there. I don't care what it is. You will find a way. And I know this firsthand because I'm the type of person that when I really set my mind on something, it's done. It's a done deal. I couldn't run a mile like two years ago without heaving and being in aching pain. My body just screamed at me, you are not a runner. One day I looked at myself and I said, when did I determine that I wasn't a runner? Signed up for a half marathon and started training for it. This past October, I ran two half marathons in the same month. I set my mind to it, I did it. I wanted to become an RA. There was no option for me not to become an RA in my mind. I wanted to be an assistant hall director. I'm here. You really believe it? You're gonna do everything in your power to achieve it. Remember that. As soon as you set the, this is what I'm gonna do, there goes all your limiting beliefs. They're out the window because you are convinced that you are gonna do it and you will. You will do everything in your power to do it, regardless of what anyone says. So set your mind on it, whatever it is, and do it. The language you use and speak to yourself with dictates everything in your life. If you are speaking very positively to yourself, everything around you is going to show up positive. Things are going to gravitate towards you. You're going to be like, wow, this is so great. Like everything is going my way. But on the contrary, if you look around and you're like, oh my gosh, like my poster is ripped. Everything is just so frustrating. 
I don't understand, life is out to get me. It is because that is the mindset that you are placing yourself in. You are vibrating so much lower on the scale. All you are gonna recognize is everything else that is vibrating at that low frequency. Be intentional with your words, be intentional with your perspective. It will change your life. Rejection is just redirection. If you don't get what you want, it wasn't meant for you. It's just a redirection. It is not the end of the world. Authenticity is really cool. Being yourself is really cool. When you are 100% yourself and you believe in yourself and you act aligned with your true values and the type of person you are, then what everybody else thinks about you doesn't matter. Everyone is so unique. You all have such amazing experiences in your life and you bring so much to the table. So why would you dim it? Why would you ever dim yourself? Be authentic, be yourself. Nothing is cooler in this world than being 100% yourself. And when you are yourself, other people can see it. You're not pretending to be someone you're not. You are you and they will love you for you. And if they don't love you for you, that's their problem because you have everything you need when you are authentically you. Not everybody is gonna understand you and that's okay. That's okay. You don't need to explain yourself to anybody. You don't wanna go somewhere. You don't need to add why. If you don't wanna go, you don't wanna go. That is enough of a reason to not go because you don't want to. Hey, can't make it to the party tonight. End the text there. You don't need to come up with an excuse and over explain yourself. Don't worry about it. I can't make it, okay? Sure, there are times where an explanation might be beneficial and helpful, but in general, you don't need to explain yourself. Friends who don't support you are not your friends because a true friend would support you 100%. They would uplift you. They would encourage you. Follow your dreams and your passions with you. Discuss them with you. Feel invigorated by them. They wouldn't feel threatened by them. They're always going to keep it real with you, but also be fully delusional when you need them to be. They're not gonna openly joke about you or make fun of you to other people. You know, friendships have bickering and all that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about blatant making fun of you, not supporting you, not speaking highly of you. If you call them a friend of yours, but they're openly not being someone who is friendly to you, then you're not friends. Get them out of here, cut them out of your life. They don't deserve to be friends with you. Boundaries are really cool. One of my best and favorite examples is when you think about texting people back. You don't need to respond immediately. Their text is gonna be there in like 20 minutes. Their text is also gonna be there in an hour. If you're doing something, set the boundary with yourself. Being an RA, I'd have residents text me all the time, sometimes 24 seven. And I had to set the boundary of 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. I do not respond to residents. You call the duty phone. Use boundaries in your life. For example, you might have a boundary before you go to bed. I am not going on my phone past 9.30 p.m. All technology off. There are so many different boundaries that you can set in your life. Figure out the ones that work for you and set them and try them out. Test out new ones all the time. Actions speak louder than words. You could chat, 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 talk, 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 all the talk, but if you don't live it, what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna run a marathon. Oh, I'm so like athletic and cool, but you don't work out at all. Everyone's gonna see right through that, that's BS. Like I go to the gym every day and you actually do, you're gonna have so much more respect. People are gonna respect you. Actions speak louder than words. So if you are saying you are gonna do something, do it. Pair it with the action and it's unstoppable. But don't just let the words hang out here. If anything, do it and don't even talk about it. If you're gonna pick between words and actions, do the actions and then maybe talk about it later. Emotions come and go. I mean, the word emotion has motion in it and motion is moving, coming and going. Your emotions, are going to be chaotic at times and crazy. They're gonna be up, they're gonna be down, but they're always gonna be moving. This too shall pass, <laughs> essentially. These are at minimum 22 things that I've learned so far in my life. And there are so many more lessons I've learned. And these are not ranked in order of importance or anything. I hope that something resonated with you. And I hope that you choose to stick around because I have so much more of this stuff I would love to share and connect with everybody on. You're so awesome. I'm so awesome. So stick around, subscribe, and let's be awesome together. I will see you later.